students will come back again to our class on YouTube. I'm your teacher, Amir sir, from Divine School and Pew College. We are in poetry section now for class 10. Class 10 poetry section is going on. We have already seen two more poems before. Now this is the next poem, Look in War, of which two videos have already been completed. There are total eight stanzas in this poem. First four stanzas have been completed in previous two videos. Now two more stanzas. I'm ready with two more stanzas in this video. Fifth and sixth stanza. In first four stanzas, we saw in first stanza introduction of Lokin War. Lokin War. Lokin War is the poem written by Sir Walter Scott, a poet from a storyteller from Scotland. In first stanza, it was all about how brave, young, dauntless, faithful Lokin War started his journey from Scotland and traveled into England to win back, to get back his love. Ellen. And in second stanza we saw that before he could reach to the place of his lover Ellen, Ellen had already agreed, consented to marry another man. And in third stanza also we saw that the father when Tokinwar arrives at the place, marriage ceremony is going on marriage ceremony of Ellen with a laggard, a dust, dustard man is in progress. He reaches to the, that place, he appears uh, in that hall, Netherby Hall. When he appears, Bright's father, Ellen's father speaks to Lokinwar. Why? Because the bridegroom, the man with whom Ellen is going to marry, is a covert man so he does not come forward and he does not say a word he does not say anything therefore father speaks with his hand on his sword and he asks and he asks Lokin what the reason of coming whether he had come uh, to have peace or to have war or just to enjoy the marriage so Lokin what replies he gives his reply he says that he loved his daughter but because his proposal his suit was denied by him so that love which he had before for Ellen had gone now and he also says that he had just come to drink wine and dance in the bridal this is what Lokin War tells bride's father Ellen's father but is it true whether Lokinwar had come from so far from Scotland by risking his life, by traveling so long, all alone, unarmed, he really came just to have wine and dance or there was some other intention, we will see in the next stanza. Now, here are fifth and sixth stanza. Let me read out the stanzas for you. The bride kissed the goblet, the knight took it up. He quaffed off the wine and he threw down the cup. She looked down to blush and she looked up to sigh. With a smile on her lips and a tear in her eye, he took her soft hand ere her mother could bar. Now trade we measure, said young Lokin War. So stately his form and so lovely her face that never a hall such a galliard did grace. 
while her mother did fret and her father did fume and the bridegroom stood dangling his bonnet and plume and the bride maidens whispered she were better by far to have matched our fair cousin with young Lokinwar. This is the poem. Now, when Lokinwar said that he had come just to dance and drink wine, after hearing this, Ellen who was present there, Ellen also heard what Lokinwar said that uh, there is now no love for Ellen in his heart and he had come just to drink and dance and he also said that there were more beautiful women, girls in Scotland who were happily ready to marry him. After hearing all these things, Ellen, let's see what's going on in Ellen's mind, what is she going through, what is she, how is she feeling, what is she do? The bride, Ellen, Ellen is bride, the bride, looking towards lover, Ellen, kissed the goblet, the knight took it up. She presented, she presented one goblet, goblet is cup or glass of wine, goblet is like we have already, we must have seen, there is a cup, right, and having a long this kind of this kind of cup usually used to drink wine so she presented a goblet to Lokinwar but how did she present it? she took the goblet she kissed the goblet and then she gave it to Lokinwar she kissed the goblet the bride kissed the goblet the knight took it up and the knight the knight here refers to Knight, K N I G H T, brave young warrior, refers to knight. Here refers to Lokinwar. Lokinwar is knight. So he took it up. He took the glass from. He took the cup of wine from Ellen. He quaffed off the wine and he threw down the cup. He did not drink it normally. He did not drink it in a normal way. What did he do? He quaffed it off. He drank it all of a sudden, the whole cup he drank and he threw the cup. You must have seen this kind of uh, scenes in uh, our Bollywood movies. Whenever I read these lines, whenever I read these lines, he quaffed off the wine and he threw down the cup. It reminds me of the scene in a movie called uh, Raja Hindustani, you must have seen that in that movie the actor Amir Khan there is a song on him, he drinks a lot, he dances and he he throws the bottle on the floor, he breaks it, he's very angry right, this kind of thing, so here Lokinwar also did the same thing he did not drink it normally but he grabbed it off and he threw the glass on the floor she looked down to blush and she looked up to sigh. When Lokinwar did this, this kind of behavior in the hall where many people were present and her Ellen's marriage ceremony was going on. So what did she do? She looked down to blush. She was shy. She, she was shy. She wasn't happy with that. And she looked up to sigh. And she was having a difficulty in breathing. Sigh is a long breath taken when we feel uneasy to breathe. We usually do this, right? We take a long breath. So this is what she did. She looked down, she was shy, she looked up and she was sighing. She sighed, she took a long breath. She was also feeling uneasy. She must be feeling uneasy. She must be feeling uncomfortable because her lover looking more said something bad about her relation with him and he also did that he drank the wine quickly and he threw the cup on the floor so 
she wasn't happy with that. With a smile on her lips and a tear in her eye, she was happy. At the same time, she was upset. She was happy. She must be happy because Loki Mo at least came there, right? Her lover came. And she was also not happy, sad, upset. There were tears in her eye. There was tears in her eye because of what she had heard from Loki Mo and the way he was behaving. She wasn't happy. So with a smile on her lips and a tear in her eye, he took her soft hand ere her mother could bar. So there was there were tears in her eye and there was a smile also. He took her hand. He here refers to he refers to Lokinwar. Her soft hand refers to Helen's hand. But before the mother, when he took her hand, the mother of Ellen, she tried to stop them. But before she could stop, before the mother could stop them or bring Ellen back, what did they do? Now trade we measure, say young Lokinwar. Young Lokinwar offered Ellen by holding her hand, by taking her soft hand in his hands, he offered, he told her that he wanted to dance with her. He offered to dance with her. Now trade we measure dance. Let's have a dance. This is how he this is what he wanted to say, right? He wanted to dance with her. So this is the fifth stanza. Then what happened? So the, the dance is started. The two are dancing now. So Kimbar and Ellen are now dancing. So what happened then? So stately his form and so lovely her face that never a hall such a gallier did grace. So stately his form. When they were dancing, the hall, people present in the hall who had come to attend the ceremony, marriage ceremony of Ellen, they, they were surprised. They were very happy. They saw something amazing. What was that? Lockinwar's stately form. Lockinwar was a warrior. He was a knight. He looked very good. Stately. Stately means big, grand, impressive in size and manners. Stately means big, grand, good looking, impressive in size and in manners, in ways, in behavior, right? So his form was stately and so lovely her face and her face and Ellen was also very beautiful. Lokin War was looking great because of his form. He was a warrior and Ellen was also very beautiful. So the, so the pair looked very beautiful. And while, when they were dancing, they were looking so, uh, they were looking uh, so made for each other, so uh, they were like really made for each other. The, the pair was good. The couple was very uh, good. So the, the hall, the people there had never seen such a pair. They had never witnessed such a pair. A knight. Impressive man, grand, huge in size and manners, impressive and a very beautiful girl. So it was a very good pair. Therefore, while her mother did fret and her father did fume, the mother was trying to stop them. The mother was not happy. And the father was also angry. They were not happy. They were feeling uncomfortable because their daughter was going to marry a man who was now dancing with her lover. Therefore, the father and the mother, they were not happy. And the bridegroom stood dangling his bonnet and plume. And the bridegroom, whom Alan was going to marry, that man, another man, bridegroom, he wasn't doing anything. He had a, he had a bonnet, he had a hat. 
he was just putting his, his hat and he was moving his hat in his hat and he was having a plume, uh, a flower or a feather which is worn in hat or in suit. He was dangling it, he was moving it, he was moving, circling his hat. He was not doing anything. He was not uh, trying to stop them or he was not showing any reaction. We can understand this was all because he was not a great man, he was not a lover or he was not a fighter, he was a laggard, he was a duster. Laggard means the man who lags behind in love and duster a covert man, he was a covert man so he didn't do anything. But the father and mother of Ellen, they were not happy with what was going on in the hall, right? And the bride maidens whispered and the bride's friends, bride's cousins, Ellen's friends, Ellen's cousins, Ellen's sisters, the girls, women of Ellen's age who were there, they were whispering, they were saying something to each other silently, they were talking. When the dance of Ellen and Lockinwall was going on, the beautiful dance, the beautiful pair, when it was all happening, they were talking, cousins were talking. What, what did they say? They said this, see this, this line from here, it is starting, uh, it, it's written within inverted commas, double quotation, these are exact words. So from here, T, T word means it was, T word means it was, T word means they were or it was the couple, the pair, right? Better by far, it would be better, they were talking that it would be better, it is far better. It is much better. What? What is better? To have matched our fair cousin with young Lockinwar. They were so impressed by the grand personality of Lockinwar and his daring, his bravery. He came alone from there and he, he was now, he took uh, her hand and he was dancing with his lover, by seeing all these things, the cousins, Ellen's cousins, Ellen's friends, Ellen's maidens, bride's maidens, they were so impressed that they talked to each other, they were saying that it would be far better, it would be much better if their cousin was matched, if their cousin gets married to young Lokin Moore. They were happy with this pair, they were not at all happy with that bridegroom who was going to marry Ellen. They were not matching. Lokinwar and Ellen were matching a lot. It was a good match. This is what the cousins, the bride maidens, Ellen's maidens, Ellen's friends, her age, the girls of her age, they said. So this is all uh, about these two stanzas. Stanza number 5 and 6. Stanza 7 and 8 will be explained in next video. I want you to read it carefully and try to answer the questions that are in exercise. Right? And if you have any doubt, write in comments. Do subscribe to our channel, like it, comment, and share with your friends. Thank you for watching.